Now, what we talked about yesterday was so important. So I want to do a recap on everything we discussed. Now, we talked about the sins of the father not going towards the death of the son and the sins of the son not going towards the death of the father. Every man is going to die for his own sins. Now, that is the law. That is what we're supposed to be living by. And that's exactly what's going to be the main theme of the new covenant. In the days, Allah gives us this covenant. This covenant is not going to be established on one man dying for another. And right here in this covenant we are in right now, we are in a stage where it's getting ready to shift from one covenant to another until the death of the prophet Isa and the death of al Mahdi myself we will continue to be under the judgment now the judgment is seen in Exodus chapter 20 3 through 5 God tells us not to have no other gods before him. We are not supposed to worship no other gods but him. No God on earth, no God in the water, no God in the heavens. Only God is worthy of worship. And so, by us doing that, then the judgment came, and that judgment is seen in verse 5, where it says, God is going to visit the iniquity of the father. He's going to cause the father to die because of the sins of the sons. And the son has to die. The father has to die. Or you can put it vice versa. Father and son has to die. We're living in the day of that judgment. And I want to read that scripture so that you can clearly understand it. This scripture is going to be Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord, thy God, am a jealous God. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. So God's going to cause the father to die. And this is going to continue to go on until when? Until the third and fourth generation. And that is going into 2034. 2034 will be the year of my death. Not only the prophet Esau will die, but I will die as well. And that's the judgment. Because according to the law, if we go to Deuteronomy 24 and 16, I'll read that for you too. Deuteronomy 24 and 16, the fathers shall not be put to death for the children. Neither shall the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man shall be put to death for his own sin. Now, that law has not come to full fruition yet. It's not fully here because right now we have to deal with the son. And that's not the son of Allah. Allah has no son. We're talking about the prophet Isa.